up on my second job here. Got all the downspouts done. So now I'm just cleaning the roof here. The neighbor's house is next door, so I can't use the blower. Splatter their windows. Well, look at them gutter screens. They clogged. You gotta scrape them. I've only been up here for two years. But yeah, sometimes this is how it's done. You can't really use a brush because it's wet and sticky. And this thing was up on the roof. So I didn't even have to climb down. I just picked it up off the roof and started to use what I have. scraped off the debris look at that roof is wet rotting away around the chimney look at how much debris was there and uh, that was bad because it's rusting the metal so I got my blower here check this out folks once it's nice and warm It's a push start. Yes, you no longer have to take it off your back. You just fire it up. As long as it's warm, you can walk around. If a customer walks up to you, you kill it, walks away, you fire it back up. Very nice unit. nice and clean took a while all those wet spots is where the debris was sitting and uh, look at that I scraped it used a little bit of air and the screen is good to go for a couple more years it's a lot of trees here so definitely a beautiful view I'd like to work here all day but I got other places to go other people to help this job was interesting but uh, oh look I thought I was done with the final so hey I still have it on
Oh, that debris is wet, wet and stubborn. So we're gonna have to scrape it a little bit. Oh well. Do a little cleanup afterwards. That's why I don't like gutter cleaning or roof cleaning. That's a that's a messy job. But at the end, it all works out. All right, here at the second house, I came out, uh, changed out the downspout. I'm not sure why it was here. We put it over there. They had a downspout across going this way. So patched it up, made a little patch right there. Made a new hole there, measured it, made it nice and straight. So now it's where it needs to be. On this one here, uh, I'm guessing they had concrete here and the drain pipes were in the wrong place, but then the drain pipes got moved. So, the pipe was cut. We put the downspout back in there and around the back. The customer installed a overflow here. So it looks like it needs to be finished with some more concrete or something, but all this water, I guess it's gonna probably collect in here. So what we did is, so that can be installed wherever it needs to be. We had a couple couplings and we put the pipe in here, connected it to the main drain, so that overflow will flow out right through there. Made it nice and straight and patched everything up. So this one is ready to go. This Chevy is an 06 diesel and it's got some check engine lights on, seat belt. Even though I'm wearing it, I don't get it. It's broken or something. Maybe it's time to get a new truck. All right, showed up to a third job to help the boys. We've got the two trucks here. Looks like they're move making a movie scene or something, but really we're just hanging gutters. <laughs> Neighbors come up and like, are you guys making a movie today? Nope, not today, just a video for YouTube. All right, it is 4.31 and we are still cranking it out here, getting them gutters up in the air. It's almost dark. So this one, we will be coming back tomorrow and uh, getting it wrapped up because it's a job from tomorrow's schedule. And we're a day early, so we had some extra time. So we jumped on it, got the gutters off, did what we could. We'll come back tomorrow and finish it. We'll see you guys later. All right, the time is 6.57 and the day ain't over because we're getting the trucks ready for tomorrow. Got to get them, get them ready so we don't have to waste time in the morning. The weather is good. It's dry. It's not raining. It's not too bad. So sometimes you just got to turn the lights on and get it all going. Right, so got the power hooked up overnight for all the trucks. We're charging all the batteries. Each truck has a ego generator. So we don't use power at the job site. We don't stretch power cords. Everything comes from the here. It takes a... Uh, couple hours to recharge good for a couple days so uh getting the trucks cleared out throwing all the trash out aluminum steel and uh yeah we're pretty much ready to go